Hi everyone, my name is Emily Gaines and I'm one of the educators here at Clay Pit Pond State Park Preserve. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own spotted lanternfly model. I originally made this as a prop for our Nature Nightmares hike where we taught about invasive species. It was attached to an actor's back, um, but it can be just kind of used to talk about spotted lanternfly as invasives. It can be a nice tool to have a big old model of them. So here at Clay Pit, we have a pretty big infestation, so we really want to encourage people to talk about spotted lanternfly and what the issues are around them. Now, first we're going to go over the materials that you need. I made the body of the spotted lanternfly out of a pretzel tub, um, but today I'm going to be using a, a coffee container. You can really use any sort of plastic oval shaped container. I'm going to use this extra plastic piece to make the shape that I want. And then I'm going to be adding paper mache to it. So you'll need newspaper and glue for that. Once the paper mache dries, I painted it with some acrylic paint, yellow, black, and white. Then to make the rest of the spotted lantern fly, you will need these Chanel sticks to make the legs and the wings. The Chanel sticks you can shape to make the outline of the wing and then tape on tissue paper. We use the red tissue paper for the bottom ones and a combination of pink and tan tissue paper for the top wings. And then I just used some Sharpies to make the design of the wings. Lastly, I glued on some pom-poms, black and red ones for the face of the spotted lanternfly. All right, let's get started. We will start by paper macheing the body of the spotted lanternfly. Rip the newspaper into 1 to 1.5 inch strips. With the hot glue gun, I glued the plastic takeout container to the top of the coffee canister to make the tapered end of the body. Then, pour some glue and water into a bowl and mix. Don't be afraid to use your hands to mix the glue since you'll be getting messy anyways. Now I'm going to dip each piece of the newspaper into the water and glue mixture, running it through my fingers to wring out extra glue. I place it on the canister, shaping it to my preference. Continue to place newspaper strips all around the canister until your entire body is covered. Set this aside to dry at least 24 hours. Next, we are going to make the wings using Chanel sticks and tissue paper. Start by shaping the wings by twisting four Chanel sticks together into a circle. Bend them until they resemble the shape of your top wing, a rectangular shape. Repeat this so you have a mirror image for the other wing.
Now to cover the top wings. I am using pink tissue paper on the inside and tan tissue on the outside. Place your Chanel sticks on the inside, taping them down to the tissue paper. Then carefully fold over the tissue paper and tape along the edges so that it forms to the shape of the Chanel sticks. Repeat this with your second wing, making sure it is a mirror image of the first wing. The bottom red wings will use three Chanel sticks shaped into a triangular shape. Cover the bottom wings with two red pieces of tissue paper. Shape the tissue paper around the wings just as you did with the top ones. Now that you have your wings, it's time to decorate them with Sharpies. I freehanded the design of the wings, but feel free to draw in pencil first and refer to images of the spotted lantern fly to ensure that you have the correct design. The top wings have a dashed line design at one end and various spots along the rest of the wings. The red wings only have black spots on them. After the paper mache is completely dried, I can paint the whole body black. Once this is dry, I paint on white stripes along the back and the belly of the body. Interrupted by yellow stripes along the sides of the spotted lantern fly. Lastly, I shaped the legs. I twisted together two black Chanel sticks per leg to make the legs thicker. Then I shaped them to have a small bend on one end, which will be attached to the body. And then I angled the rest of the leg in a general shape that I wanted. These legs can be reshaped after they are attached to the body. All right, now that you have all of your pieces, it's time to assemble the spotted lantern fly. I'm going to start by making its face, then adding the wings to the back. You want them pretty close to the face because they're pretty big. And then adding the legs to um, about right before the stripes start on the belly. The face, I'm using the pom-poms. And then you're going to be taking these two red ones and adding them to the sides with little cheeks. You can always add more hot glue later. And I would first line these up 
so you know exactly where you're going to be putting the hot glue because these are hard to move after you add the hot glue to them. So line them up, have an idea of like where you're going to be putting them, especially starting with those red ones. So I made a little triangle and then again make sure that you lined up how you want it. So I'm not putting the red all the way up to the top because that's what we're going to do with the tan one so that it overlaps the red and it has just a peekaboo of the red underneath. Alright, so we've added our wings, made sure that they're nice and symmetrical, they can flop around. Now to do the legs. So to do the legs, we're putting them in the middle of the bottom of the spotted lantern fly. I've already started with one. You're going to be adding the glue to the little tips that we made for the legs. So each of these have little tips to them. And placing them on and then once they are glued on you can kind of manipulate more how they're going to look and bend. lantern fly. You can hang this up, use it as an educational material. It is all finished. Once that final glue dries, you are all set. Thank you so much for watching.